Hello everyone, welcome to A Foreigner Farming in the Philippines. So I'm going to integrate this into a crayfish update because the reason that I bought these have you know, their dual purpose. They have something to do with the crayfish and also the uh, uh, tilapia moving forward. Now before, I don't know, I guess I could go get one and uh, give you an example. Before I used, uh, widely used, I think I ordered 20 of them, maybe 25, I can't remember. Uh, same basic design, but they were 6 inch. These are 12 inch. And these were actually cheaper than the 6 inch I was buying before from a different uh, supplier on uh, Shopee. These, so I ordered 6 of these and delivered, they were 472 pesos. Uh, they are basically the same price as the six inch ones that I had before. Now I have also ordered a new uh, uh, aeration compressor for reasons I'll go into shortly and I'll probably end up getting three or four more of the newer ones after I check it out. Uh, the new one that I ordered, uh, so the aeration compressors I have right now are the 55 watt uh, A318s, I think they're called, and they they aerate rather well down to a depth of about two feet, uh, a water depth of about two feet. You wouldn't think it would make that much difference uh, between two feet and three feet, or two feet and four feet of water depth but it does. It makes a great deal of pressure when you're um, dealing with these kinds of aeration compressors. All right, so I'm gonna integrate this into the previous videos that I made. I'm trying to fully explain what happened and why it, uh, what happened and why it happened and what we're doing to uh, keep it from happening again. So, in that tank right there, we had over a hundred crayfish. The ones that were, about 50 of them were uh, of sellable size. And uh, we lost 125 crayfish in that tank. And I was pissed at myself. Although there were contributing factors, the buck stops here, in the end it was my fault because I was trying to just juggle too many things here with what I had going on with this aeration. So as you can see those tanks right there are almost full of water. And that's because it's a it's a slow process for it to wind around into the other tanks and then it enters there and then comes back down this way so it's a it's a process and it never this pump uh, the water can even drop down a little bit lower than this uh, when it's circulating that's the circulation pump the water comes out of this last tank and goes into that first one and then it begins its journey around. Uh, in the interests of keeping enough water in these last tanks here for Maricel to water her garden, I raised the depth of the water in these tanks. And to further ensure that Maricel had enough water to water her plants, she would remove that circulation hose and let it just feed back into this. And uh, so, so that this small little pump would quit pumping water out so that she would have more water here. And the last time that she watered, she forgot to uh, to move it back into that first tank. So there was no water circulation. And as I'm going to explain 
later in this video, it's important to have both aeration and water circulation. And uh, the aeration was compromised and the water circulation was non-existent. So as I will explain uh, with facts and figures and numbers and stuff shortly, uh, having even two foot deeper water in these last four tanks here, of which that tank right there is one, makes a big difference in the amount of oxygen, of air, that comes out of those uh, stones. A big difference. And when you combine not having water circulation with basically cutting the available aeration in half, and you have uh, crayfish fairly concentrated in one pile, like we did in that tank, you end up with a bunch of dead crayfish, and that's exactly what happened. That's part of that. That's part of the reason why there hasn't been a crayfish update, because I'm just so pissed at myself. And other than uh, basically killing 125 of them, there was nothing to update. But the components to fix this problem are here. And... Um, uh, I'll be explaining uh, how that's going to happen uh, shortly. So uh, we're not back to square one because we have over a hundred more uh, crayfish that are in the process of growing out and they'll be ready to sell in about a month. But those 50 that were ready to sell that we we were going to post on Facebook Marketplace that night, right at 100,000 pesos, died in that tank uh, the night before we were going to start advertising them. And we desperately need those pesos uh, as farm income. And now we're now it's another month off because we're still waiting for uh, the grow out. Uh, the ones that are remaining so don't not starting over from scratch but starting over all right a little bit different perspective here as you can see i'm up here where the compressors are i just had to get my chair up here to come and see this so this is the rating on the compressors that i have uh, 45 watt 70 liters per minute the key is the, if it'll focus, stay in focus, is the 25 uh, milli, millipascals. That's what that MPA uh, stands for. And the this one, uh, the the golden one, is actually only 45 watt, and it's 23. Uh, millipascal so it's even less and this will uh, be pertinent pertinent information in just a second this is the compressor that arrived today which is the first step towards a bit of insurance that something as catastrophic as that won't happen again that's two purposes for this um, See if we can get the particulars to show up on here with it staying in focus. So this is 75 watt. Okay, it's a much bigger compressor. Uh, the liters per minute isn't that much different. It's only 80. Here's the big difference. It's this uh, 29 uh, megapascals. And uh, I'll show you right now uh, you, the difference in PSI, because that's what I'm most familiar with and what most other people would be able to uh, figure is PSI. That's what most people are used to uh, dealing with, pounds per square inch. This compressor was uh, about 700 pesos more than the others I was buying. But moving forward, because of the higher pressure, uh, I'll be much more comfortable with putting uh, this size compressor 
and uh, the tilapia tanks because I'll be able to set the uh, aeration stones, stones, stones much deeper and still have good output and I'll explain all that to you right now. Okay, so this is a the unit converter on my old phone which came to life yesterday. Finally dried out enough to live. Uh, and that's an easy way to do this video. So, uh, as you can see, uh, Mega Pascal, uh, that's what the old compressors are putting out, 0.025, and that equates to 3.625 PSI, okay? Keep that in mind. Now, I'm going to back this up one and uh, do 0 0.029, that's what the new compressor does. That's 4.2 uh, PSI, which is about, um, oh, 20% increase in pressure overall, but that's not uh, exclusively uh, the difference. This is a website. I don't know how I'm familiar with it. I just knew of it. Some of the uh, millions of little pieces of usually useless information that run around in my head, but it's pertinent in this uh, scenario. So this will give you the PSI of standing water. Okay? Now these are all numbers that I had not to the not to the hundredth or thousandth of uh, uh, decimal place, but I had this general information in my head. And um, so I knew what the uh, risks were. So uh, in two feet of standing water, the, I don't know how you would call it, back pressure, um, why is the counter counting down on my, it turns out this fancy new phone was too hot and it was giving me a countdown as to when it was going to shut off. And so that's what happened. So, uh, at four feet, where are we at here? At two feet water depth. The basically let's call it back pressure is 0.86 psi, uh, not even one psi. Uh, some of you might find it amazing that there would be any uh, back pressure uh, because you're underwater at all, but uh, others are, might even th might say, well, it's only it's less than one psi. What's the big deal? But when I can change that to four feet, which is the depth of the water that was in those that was in the crayfish tank where all the crayfish basically suffocated uh, that back pressure comes up to 1.73 psi now again you might say well 1.73 psi that's not that much right but um, when you go back here and I put in the uh, output of the compressors that I was using, which is 3.6. We take 1.7 away from that, it's almost half, right? So we were getting about half the, uh, the capacity of that compressor was being taken up by the back pressure because the water was four feet deep. So it was putting out less than half of what it was supposed to be. And when you combine uh, less oxygenation of the water, because less uh, bubbles in the water, when you combine that with the lack of water circulation, uh, you end up with 125 dead crayfish. And uh, I hope my uh, mistake that I'm still kicking myself in the ass for uh, 
will not happen to anyone else since uh, I have uh, made the endeavor to make everyone uh, aware of what can happen just with two feet different of water depth. And I would like, uh, furthermore, I would like to, um, I'll change this back to the 0.29, uh, and so we're, we're getting 1.73 uh, back pressure at four feet. So that would be 3.2, 3. 3. Um, 3.53 is what the new compressor, uh, the, it would be 3.5 uh, PSI more than the back pressure from it being four feet deep, which is almost equivalent to uh, the overall pressure output of uh, the pump uh, at 0 0.025. Uh, it's within one PSI. So uh, the new compressor at four feet deep can put out what the old compressor uh, put out at, I don't know, a, a foot uh, water depth. And that's important with the tilapia because I want the uh, aeration to be as far down in the water as possible and still have good flow rate. And that's the reason uh, we're switching over to these uh, higher pressure aeration units. I hope that I've made everything clear and made everything understandable. Sometimes I get caught up in my uh, my own facts and figures and don't explain things well. It's all in my head. It's just expressing it to others in a coherent matter, uh, manner that uh, trips me up sometimes. But I hope everyone uh, can understand uh, the gist of what I'm saying. Thank you, everyone. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe.